severe hematoma. We need to repair that artery. My God, I think it was a glass. David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. That doesn't mean his mind. We all know what happened when he was with SWAT. The Mexican Town Massacre wasn't his fault. Then why was he kicked off the force? Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. Those guys were obviously guilty. I'll keep you up to date. Andrew Van Wessel, please report to the resource department. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. 
if he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? Nah, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. Alright. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not about to take any chances. Lethal it is. But remember, they do have hostages, and I'd hate to see any of our people get caught in the crossfire. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance? Or up close. Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. 
The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. <laughs>